Good morning. I'm John Pritchard. I'm the president of Venture Medical based out of Tampa. Um, it's really great to see everybody this year, um, as it is every year. It's nice to see what everyone looks like when they're not in scrubs. Um, because sometimes it's hard to recognize people when they're not in their normal colored scrubs that you're used to seeing them in. Um, our company, Venture Medical, provides new and refurbished uh, medical equipment um, statewide and actually nationwide. Uh, we also do uh, third-party uh, biomedical safety testing uh, and repairs, maintenance, PMs, what have you. Uh, we've been in business since 1999 and uh, we've grown into a well-recognized name in the industry. Um, over the years we've expanded, as we've expanded as a company and improved, we've also expanded uh, the protocols and the procedures in which we refurbish equipment. Now we do sell new equipment but uh, as many of you probably already know, the best way to stay in, within your budget is, uh, if you have a very tight budget, is to, uh, to select or at least consider refurbished equipment. And when they asked for speakers, they said, well, you know, innovative products, and well, you know, we kind of sell veteran products, you know, these are, you guys know about what we sell because you've been using it for a long time. So what I would like to do instead is kind of give you some pointers um, from the vendor side on how to select refurbished equipment and even better, how to select a refurbishing company. Um, you know, in this day and age of throw a website up and you can look like a behemoth uh, of a company on, on a website, but in actuality, you may not have anything behind you, maybe here today and gone tomorrow, so there are some things that you can look at uh, when getting a quote on refurbished equipment to qualify. Uh, the company that you're getting it from. So I'd like to go over just a few of those points uh, real quick. Um, number one, when you when you were quoted, um, you're typically spending a, a, a good bit of money uh, on, on whatever you're buying. And I, I think that you should expect that the quote be very detailed. Um, if you're buying a Steris operating table, for instance, and all they put on there is Steris operating table, yeah. Give me a little more info. Um, and that's, that's also for your protection down the road if, if, if you do purchase from the company and they don't deliver exactly what you think uh, you were gonna get. Um, if there's a lot of gray area there without a lot of details, well, there's wiggle room for them too. So I know it's our protocol with our sales staff that it's very detailed. Every quote is extremely, if, there's, if you're getting quoted 20 items, it's a 25 page quote. Um, that way everybody knows exactly what they're getting. Um, Number two uh, would be any company that is doing refurbished equipment, I'm talking the bigger things, operating tables, anesthesia machines, sterilizers, what have you, they, they should have a refurbishing checklist or, or some kind of process sheet at their fingertips. And when you call, if you're gonna go out and buy a you know, $15,000, $18,000 refurbished operating table, you should ask for that refurbishing checklist. You'd say, what do you do? It's refurbished. Well, what does that mean? Uh, that's, a, that's a really gray term in our industry. So in order to tell how they refurbish something, uh, you should ask for that refurbishing checklist. They should be able to get that to you um, in, in, in a split second so you can see exactly what they do. It's just an assurance that they've done it before and they know what they're doing. Um, so I, I, we highly recommend that, that you get that from whatever company you're considering. Um, are you getting it from the source is another key. Um, it's always better if you can get it from the source. Equipment brokers are great, nothing against them, but it's always better, like most anything else, if you can get it directly from the source. Um, as for a company profile, um, they should have a company profile where they can send you, uh, tell you some of the high profile customers maybe that they've uh, serviced um, and give you a better idea of their facilities and their manpower and their expertise. Um, lastly, the warranty should be spelled out very specifically on the quote. Um, and then of course, again, on the invoice, find out, make it very clear if it's parts, if it's parts and labor, um, and if there's anything that would be excluded from that warranty or have a shorter warranty term um, than you would expect or than does the, the main equipment, for instance, like on patient monitors, the lead wires, the SPO2 sensors, things like that. So. Um, you know, in closing, um, ultimately whether you get it from us, Venture Medical, or you get it from somebody else, refurbished equipment is a great option. Uh, just, you know, you, you, wanna, you want to definitely do your homework 
um, and make sure that it's a qualified company you're getting it from. Um, and if you do get a quote, if you get your three quotes, like a lot of you do, um, and one is miles under the others uh, as far as price-wise, um, you might want to dig a little deeper to find out because typically in this industry, um, the refurbished industry, you get what you pay for. But if anyone wants to speak about this, we're in uh, booths uh, 302 and 305 um, in the exhibit hall, and uh, we'd love to see you uh, later today. Thank you. Next, we have Creole Medical Partners.